from a man who jumped out of a plane and was never seen again, to mysterious green children thought to be aliens, we take a look at five of the most mysterious people of all time. Number 5. Babushka Lady During the analysis of the film footage of the assassination of John F. Kennedy in 1963, a mysterious woman was spotted. She was wearing a brown overcoat and a scarf on her. The woman appeared to be holding something in front of her face, which is believed to be a camera. She appears in many photos of the scene. Even after the shooting when most people had fled the area, she remained in place and continued to film. Shortly after, she is seen moving away to the east up Elm Street. The FBI publicly requested that the woman come forward and give them the footage she shot, but she never did. Number 4. D.B. Cooper D.B. Cooper, aka Dan Cooper, is a pseudonym given to a notorious aircraft hijacker who on November 24, 1971, after receiving a ransom payout of $200,000, leapt from the back of a Boeing 727 as it was flying over the Pacific Northwest somewhere over the Southern Cascades. Cooper has not been seen since, and it is not known whether he survived the jump. In 1980, an eight-year-old boy found $5,800 of soggy $20 bills washed up on the banks of the Columbia River. The serial numbers matched those of the ransom money, which had been noted to make it easier to track Cooper later. Number 3. Man in the Iron Mask The Man in the Iron Mask was a prisoner held in a number of jails during the reign of King Louis XV of France. The true identity of the man is unknown, because no one ever saw his face, which was hidden by a black velvet mask. Fictional retellings of the story refer to the mask as an iron mask. The first records that mention the prisoner are from 1669, when Louis XV's minister placed the prisoner in the care of the governor of the prison of Pignerol. According to the letter that accompanied him, the man's name was Eustache de Guerre. Number 2. Gil Perez Gil Perez was a Spanish soldier who suddenly appeared in Mexico City on October 26, 1593. He was wearing the uniform of the guards of the Del Gobernador Palace in the Philippines. He claimed to have no idea how he had managed to appear in Mexico. He stated that moments before finding himself there, he had been on sentry duty in Manila at the governor's palace. He told them that the governor had just been assassinated. Two months later, News arrived from the Philippines by ship. They carried news that confirmed that the governor had been killed, and they verified other aspects of Perez's story. Number 1. Green Children of Woolpit The Green Children of Woolpit were two children who appeared in the village of Woolpit in Suffolk, United Kingdom in the 12th century. The children were brother and sister, and they had green-colored skin. Their appearance was normal in all other areas. They spoke an unrecognized language and refused to eat anything other than pitch from bean pods. Eventually, their skin lost its green color. When they learned English, they explained that they were from the land of St. Martin, which was a dark place because the sun never rose far above the horizon. <laughs> 